A smile can change everything. By simply showing compassion to everyone you meet, you can create a family-like community in even the strangest of places, like a fast food restaurant. After frequenting the chain every day for decades, a kind old man turned his favorite Florida food place into a home of sorts and made its employees his extended family. So when staff heard about the man's unfortunate accident, they went above and beyond to cheer up their close relative. Like most people living alone, 99-year-old Stephen Bellissimo enjoyed his routine. Every day he buttoned up a collared shirt, slid into a blazer and, when he felt hungry, drove to his favorite restaurant in Oldsmar, Florida. The restaurant, about six miles outside of Tampa, wasn't far from his home. It didn't serve juicy steaks, and it wasn't a diner with one friendly waitress who served never-ending free coffee, but he loved it all the same. Stephen couldn't get enough of the classic fried chicken sandwich with two pickles and a buttered bun from his local Chick-fil-A. And there, the man nearing his 100th birthday developed quite a reputation. Because every day for nearly 20 years, he ordered the same meal and sat in the same booth for hours without fail. For the employees, he became a beacon of comfort, the kindly man you just knew would smile at you. They called him Mr. Steve. Stephen makes everyone here feel loved and welcomed, Chick-fil-A marketing director Brittany Kraft said. He told everyone who would listen that he wanted nothing more than to live to be 100. But just before his 100th birthday, he suffered an accident. Either through an act of carelessness or feebleness, Stephen fell down. While the fall didn't induce any life-threatening damage, the rest of Stephen's family started worrying. Could the aging man live on his own anymore? After some hard conversations, Stephen did what was best for his health and moved in with his son. He walked far from the Chick-fil-A and soon, Stephen's six weekly visits were reduced to just one on Friday afternoons. On that day, Stephen ordered his chicken sandwich, sat in the same booth and stayed for hours. On the other days, employees glanced hopefully at Mr. Steve's empty booth, waiting for a man who wouldn't be coming. And while happy he had the strength to eat his favorite chicken after his fall, Stephen longed for his daily talks with the fast food employees he'd grown so fond of. So when his 100th birthday finally arrived, he knew just where he wanted to go. On September 21st, 2018, Stephen and his son went to the Oldsmar Chick-fil-A. The 100-year-old led the way, excited to be in his favorite place. But the restaurant looked different. Eyes wide, Stephen looked around the restaurant where he'd spent about 20,000 hours of his life over the past couple decades. Oh my God, he said, incredulous. What's going on? Dozens of helium-filled red balloons bobbed against the ceiling. Party hats sat atop the tables. A giant cardboard check clung to the back wall and a bright banner hung above a window just beside the front counter. And before Stephen could get a full grasp of his surroundings, Chick-fil-A employee Brittany Kraft, cheered on by a few well-dressed guests, wrapped the 100-year-old up in a tight, sincere hug. Only then did he read the banner. It read, Happy 100th Birthday, Mr. Steve. Soon, Stephen was enveloped in love by Chick-fil-A employees and restaurant guests who frequently visited Stephen at his booth. But there was even more to the celebration. With a hand on his shoulder, Brittany delivered the grand finale. Mr. Steve, she said, we want to give you Chick-fil-A for the rest of your life. You're getting it for free. I come here to eat Chick-fil-A for free, he clarified. When she said yes, his smile could have warmed a Scandinavian winner. My God, he said, this is the best gift I could ever receive. But the elderly man had one concern. Can I get the same booth? He asked with delight. Of course he could, and birthday cake, gifts, and a card with handwritten messages from restaurant employees. Stephen was overwhelmed. But it was Brittany and the Chick-fil-A staff's pleasures to throw the surprise party. It's so heartwarming to watch him affect everyone here, she said. Stephen, meanwhile, wasn't going to let his gift go to waste. Still smiling and perhaps thinking of a chicken sandwich with two pickles on a buttered bun, the 100-year-old man announced, Instead of coming once in a week, now I'm coming every day. To Stephen, that Chick-fil-A was more than a restaurant. It was home. It just goes to show that 
when we show love and kindness to the people around us we can turn just about anywhere into a home share this chick-fil-a birthday with your friends